Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ronald Ray here, your boy with a cornbread accent. Welcome you to this week's episode of WWE Monday Night Raw Recap Show. Appreciate everybody tuning in. The fans at the Ford Center and at the historic wrestling town of Evansville, Indiana, got to see the Go Home Raw before Bad Blood uh, Premium Live event. Uh, like I said, it's a uh, reason I said it's a historical wrestling town. This is one of the towns that the CWA, USWA, or Memphis Wrestling, like everybody used to like to call it, or the Memphis Territory. This is one of the towns they would go to on their weekly uh, loops. Uh, so, yeah, so I guess you can say it was an historical wrestling town. But this week, they're in a bigger arena, uh, the Ford Center, of course. Uh, not sure. I'm pretty sure it hosts uh, seats about 20,000, I, I would believe. If you know about this arena, hey, uh, chime in in the comments and let me know uh, how many how many seats do these, uh, this building hold. Hey, speak of comments and everything, uh, before I get started, if you make it to the end of the video, you dig it, click on that thumbs up button. Also, hey, like I said, leave a comment. Uh, what did you think about this week's Raw? Are you looking forward to Bad Blood? premium live event are you going to the bad blood premium live event like i said for my other videos not going to make this one would love to but uh that 200 dollars price tag for a ticket was a little too steep for me this time but maybe next time i catch them in but uh as i say or you know you can always you know just drop in and say hi i will say hi back uh, also if you're digging it of course be a champ and click on that subscribe button. Anyway, now that all that's out of the way, uh, what did the people at the uh, Four Center get to see? They got to see a little celebration from uh, Jay Uso talking about his win last week at the Intercontinental Championship uh, match between Ray Mysterio and Xavier Woods. Also, Lara Valkyrie and Zoe Stark was a pretty good match, I thought. A uh, little final face-off before the premium live event, Bad Blood, uh, with Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. Uh, Six-man, Judgment Day versus LWO. Uh, they also got to see if uh, Kofi Kingston got a little bit of revenge from last week's uh, loss as he faced Chad Gable. And, of course, the big main event, last monster standing, was Braun Strowman against uh, Bronson Big Bronson Reed? But this week's Raw, of course, started off with Jay Uso. He comes to the ring, crowd uh, doing a yeet thing with him. Uh, hey, what can I say? Crowd, people love this guy. So uh, good to see him with the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, he comes in, you know, kind of thanks to the fans, everything. Yeah, typical Bayface promo says, you know, one more person. My biggest fan was his mom, is his mom. Uh, and she said, hey, go get yours. Uh, the badass dog himself, Ron Breaker, he comes to the ring. He said, hey, man, uh, just here to shake your hand, brother. Not going to spear you or anything. Uh, much respect. So they did shake hands. Jay Uso said, hey, look, you are one badass dog. So not sure if this was a full baby face turn or whatever. But later on in the show, he did kind of confront Gunther and kind of stared at that World Heavyweight Championship. And uh, told Gunther, you'll probably see me soon. And Gunther, hey, he put him over too in that backstage segment. Say, hey, uh, that dude's a badass. All right, first match of night is Rey Mysterio, the Hall of Famer, going against uh, the New Day's Xavier Woods. Uh, are we starting to see a dark side of him? Mm. Almost apparently so. A little bit of a filling out process. I'm back and forth. Uh, Xavier got early advantage, but Ray Mysterio would uh, make a quite a comeback in the end. Uh, Ray Mysterio hit a ripcord hurricane instead of the 619. Woods moves, goes for a slam. Mysterio counter, but Xavier slipped off his mask. And uh, then got a schoolboy roll up for the 1 2 3. He kept saying it was an accident. Uh, was it an accident? Kind of looked like an accident. 
who knows uh like i said the uh it, it's starting to get some steam right now we'll more on that later all right next match is ladies action we got lyra valkyrie versus zoe stark like i said pretty decent match here uh, uh valkyrie she's got some skills and stark like i said i was kind of big on her when i seen her in the ladies world rumble last year uh and she is coming along very well just that group right there the pure uh uh, what they call themselves good gosh pure fusion collective i was about to say pure the fusion collective my bad uh pure the pure fusion collective that little group were her basler deville just just looks right and it i think it'd be pretty good uh of course you know they were at ringside the pfc they got their licks in uh but Valkyrie did make a comeback we had a German suplex. Uh, Sonya Deville got on the apron. Valkyrie gave her a forearm. Uh, she then roll up, rolled up, start for the o in a O'Connor roll. But Baszler distracted the ref. Finally, the ref uh, got down, made it two count. He was still a little distracted. Did not see Sonya Deville hit a big knee strike on uh, Lyra. So, uh, Zoe Stark hits the Z360, one, two, three, and it looked like uh, the Pure Fusion uh, Coletta was going to put some more damage, but uh, Carter and Chance ran down the ring, made the save, and unfortunately the crowd really didn't seem to care. Uh, they're not getting over as thought, thought they could be. Still a pretty good tag team. Uh, I'm not sour on them myself. But uh, the Unholy Union, a lot better than these two girls, I think. But uh, we'll love to see some matches between uh, those two tag, two tag teams as well. But right now, I think the Unholy Union is a notch better than Carter and Chance. What do you folks think? Let me know. In All right, next segment, we see them lower down the Hell in a Cell cage. CM Punk comes out. Uh, followed by Drew McIntyre. Uh, Drew has some words first. Basically, cut and dry. I'm going to hurt you and your wife. Uh, if she's not going to be feeding you through the tube, she's going to leave your ass and yada, yada, yada. Punk got on the mic. He said, you know, uh, I've become the devil, y'all. My critics have betrayed me or uh, said I was. And I got to despite this on the sale match. And pretty much said, uh, Drew, you don't be going back to uh, Ireland in the box. So, uh, so those are pretty harsh words there. But uh, no blows were taken. Just a little face off, Armrose. No biggie here. But still looking forward to this match come uh, Saturday at Bad Boy. All right, next up it is six man action Judgment Day versus LWO. Of course, the Judgment Day members are. J.D. McDonough, Carlito, and Dominique. They talked to Finn Balor early on the phone, and he said he was uh, had some travel troubles, eh, but we'll see. Uh, Cruz Del Toro and J.D. McDonough started off. Uh, LWO did take the early advantage. Uh, the uh, Judgment Day would take over on Joaquin Wilde, but he gets a tag on Dragon Lee. He gets his stuff in, stacks up Dominique, J.D., and Carlito in the corner, tags in Cruz, and hits, he hits the coast-to-coast, coast, uh, LWO with her dives. Uh, Wild looks put away Madonna, but Liv Morgan distracts the referee. And, well, I guess he got this travel uh, trouble situated because there's Finn Balor right there. He, he shoves... Joaquin Wild off the top rope. Uh, Devil inside by J.D. McDonough wins it for the Judgment Day. Uh, after the match, Ballard cuts a promo, pretty much saying, look, uh, I'm going to prove that Judgment Day did not need Damian Priest as much as Damian Priest needed uh, the Judgment Day. Of course, uh, Little Morgan will go on the mic saying she's the home record, uh, title taker, yada, yada, yada. Out comes 
Rhea Ripley. Uh, she says, look, I know a little secret about Dominique. He is uh, a little, he has major claustrophobia problems, so uh, he's going to have to watch in his sark cage and his, you know, tears and uh, using a bathroom on himself. <laughs> uh, could be soiling himself as, you know, Rhea Ripley uh, beats up Liv Morgan. Uh, after that, pretty much a brawl ensued. Uh, Damian Priest comes out. Does a pretty good job handling the members of Judgment Day. Uh, Rhea Ripley tries to get Rhea, or uh, Dominique inside the sh uh, shark cage, uh, but Liv Morgan makes a save. The numbers game finally cut up to Damian Priest. Uh, Finn Balor hit four coup draws on Damian Priest, and uh, again, uh, this is kind of how you do it sometimes. The ba or the heels are on or the baby faces are on the back. Heels on her feet right now. We'll see what happens come bad blood between uh, Ben Ballard and Damian Priest, along with uh, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. All right, next match we got Kofi Kingston against Chad Gable. Good match here. Uh, great counters and near falls. Uh, Kofi got the early shine and Gable got some heat. They did a bunch of uh, near fall. Uh, Two and three quarter counts uh, using different types of roll ups and stuff like that. Uh, the last one that Kofi hit, uh, Gable, Gable kicked out at two and rolled on the outside. Uh, Kofi Kingston did a dive using the steps to lay out the uh, American Maid. Uh, then Woods would help out taking out, looks like it was Brutus. Brutus Creed, uh, but you know, uh, Kofi Kingston was sidestep Gable, was trying to trip Gable, uh, kind of got him off balance a little bit, but it caused Kofi Kingston uh, to miss the trouble in paradise. Chaos Theory, Gable wins, and don't look like Kofi's uh, not at all happy about this. I believe there's a video where they had a heated conversation about it, but uh, man, they might not make it 10 years. Looks like they're in divorce court. <laughs> or, excuse me, divorce court. Uh, wrestler's divorce court. Because, uh, like I said, I start to see that darker side of Xavier. Was that an accident? Was this an accident? This could be seen as accident, I guess. He was trying to help his partner, but uh, this uh, miscues, you know, that happens a lot of times. All right, next up, Gunther comes out, said he was, uh, said Sami Zayn is kind of annoying, and losing him was embarrassing. Uh, Sami Zayn came out and said, hey, won't you face me? Are you afraid? Uh, Gunther said, look, you know, I'm I, I'm the breadwinner of my family. I, I can't lose, unlike you, who is a complete embarrassment to your family. They see you lose lots of times. Uh, then some little back and forth, you know, uh, called him a coward, said something about his dad, and uh, Gunther, you know, attacked. Uh, then wound up accepting the challenge of Sami Zayn. So I believe that match is going to happen next week on Raw. This ain't going to be the uh, on, ba on Bad Blood. This is going to be on Raw. I'll have to check up on that. If you know, hit me up in the comments. Uh, but, yep. Uh, so Sami Zayn finally gets his World Heavyweight Championship match. Hopefully Gunther wins, but. That's just my opinion. All right, we got to see another return this evening. Uh, R Truth came in. He said he he's got a he talked to Adam Pierce and him and Miss has a match with Aop. Of course, that means Authors of Pain. A O P. Uh, match started off with you know R Truth, you know, doing tribute moves to his uh childhood hero John Cena, but the AOP would overpower him, uh, kind of beat him down a little bit. Finally, he does make the tag to the Miz. This was not a miscue. Miz pretty much kicked him right in the face, left the ring, took the shirt off, threw it at the cameraman. Uh, then the officers of pain finished him off with what a rush for the win. Uh, so, yeah, we officially see the uh, returning 
to the kill locker room of the Miz. Uh, could be some good matches, some uh, lower mid card matches. I don't think um, any one of those going to be in the big title picture yet. But hey, you need that good up undercard to build out that top card. So uh, should be some decent decent matches. Uh, maybe we see it. More serious our truth this time. Who knows? Uh, it should be entertaining though. All right, now it's time for your main event of the night: the last monster standing match featuring Bronson Reed and Braun Strowman. And man, the crowd did wake up for this one. I I assure you that. Uh, the first big blow came from Braun Strowman as he choked slam Reed into the table. Uh, but Reed got up for at the six count. Strom Strom also looked like he was limping a little bit, but nailed a form that sent Bronson crashing through some chairs. Uh, that also got like a six count. Uh, Reed would come back later on. He hits a Death Valley driver on top of some from some equipment cases to some tables. Uh, they crash into some barricades. Uh. Look like a couple of fans might have got hit on that one. Could have been plants. Um, but anyway, the referee uh, was pretty occupied, along with the Adam Pierce and other agents and security coming out to make sure the fans were okay. Uh, Bronson Reed would hit two uh, tsunami splashes, but the referee wasn't there to make the count. Finally, he went out there, tossed around a couple of security guards, tossed around the referee. Uh, put hands on Adam Pierce. This is one of the reasons I like Adam Pierce, uh, especially his character right now as the GM. He's not, you know, making no secret that he was a wrestler at one time, and he's not, you know, really backpedaling. Once they put hands on him, he's he looks like he that wrestler, that former wrestler side of him breaks out, and uh, it's like, okay, uh, don't put your hands on me. I ain't playing for that crap. So. Uh, but as all that was going on, Braun Strowman got on the top rope, did a dive. I guess a uh, good thing all those security members were wearing their dark pants because I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> you know what would have happened if that big monster came flying towards me. Uh, they got back in the ring. A superplex from Bronson Reed caused the uh, ring to collapse, a la, who was it? Big Show and Kane, or Big Show, Big Show, and Mark Henry, uh, two other super heavyweights. They did that, or was it? Drawing uh, a blank. Sorry, folks. Uh, but anyway, the double count started. It looked like uh, Bronson Reed was going to get up, but out of nowhere comes Seth freaking Rollins, stump right on the steps. Braun Strowman was able to answer the uh, gallons feet for the count of ten making him the winner of the last monster standing, and he is the last one. And that's how the show ends. Plug a few of my uh, other content right quick. Every Tuesday, I do a preview show called Wrestling Preview Tuesday, where I ask five questions, all dealing with sport of professional wrestling. So check it out. Have some fun. Uh, of course, uh, episode 100 is up right now. Yes, I have 100 of these. So go back, check them all out. Um, and just have some fun. Uh, of course, right now you're watching the WWE Raw recap show. Usually try to have these this out on Tuesday evenings as well. Uh, also, uh, I do a AEW Dynamite recap show. Of course, this week's Dynamite is the fifth anniversary Dynamite, so uh, usually have this up on Thursday evenings. Speaking of Thursday evenings, I do a live stream called Spot Show Live Stream. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Friday morning Japan, 5 a.m. Friday morning in India, uh, where I discuss the latest wrestling news. Of course, uh, going to do a little bit of predictions of the Bad Blood uh, premium live event this weekend. And, of course, other wrestling news. So check that out. Hey, though, if you're not too hip on today's uh, pro wrestling or you're a fan of all wrestling and you're kind of young, you didn't get to see a whole lot, 
I got a show for you. Oops, wrong button. It's called Wrestling Gold Friday Night. Uh, every Friday, I recap a uh, talk about that day in wrestling history. And I also do a watch along where I uh, probably make some funny little uh, quirks or bad jokes about or bad commentary uh, on a older show. Uh, also, uh, share some of my memories of some of the wrestlers that you see on the uh, on the uh, watch along. This week's watch along will be Made Atlanta Championship Wrestling. Of course, this is Jim Clark Promotions. Uh, I'm going to try and get maybe late 70s, early 80s. I think I've seen a couple like 79, 82, or something like that. I'm going to get some somewhere around there and it should be pretty interesting. They had a pretty good uh, crew back in the day on, uh, as far as uh, Made Atlanta Jim Clark Promotions. Uh, like I said, though, this. Probably went the greatest uh, go home raw before a premium live event. Uh, they did things a little different. They let Drew McIntyre and CM Punk come to blows. They just had that one face to face, basically promo uh, against each other. Did well to it. Uh, as far as the ladies concerned, still impressed with Zoe Stark. Live Valkyrie, she's doing pretty good. Sad to see that. Uh, Crowd's not too much into uh, Carter and Chance, but I think they could have some great matches with the Unholy uh, Union, who I put not above uh, Carter and Chance as far as tag team goes. Um, let's see, pretty good six man tag match. Uh, like I said, I, I do agree with, you know, hey, that old school booking. Sometimes uh, they faces get over on the backs. Heels on her feet. Uh, the Judgment Day, who had the numbers game in hand, you know, so they were able to uh, stand tall against the uh, the twins, What's the name? Uh, Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley. Uh, but like I said, we will see how they fare well when it's one on one come the premium live event. Uh, Bad Blood. Uh, looks like uh, Gunther and Sami Zayn. I do believe that's that's going to happen next week on Raw. Could be wrong. Thought I heard thought I heard him say that, but um, it was getting kind of late. It's getting a little sleepy. Uh, poor, poor our truth. He was trying to be a member of the Judgment Day. They didn't want him. Uh, he thought he got his buddy back, the Miz. Now the Miz kicked him in his face when he came back from injury. So, uh, got a feel for poor our truth. Uh, the fans seem to dig the two big monsters beating the hell out of each other. Uh, didn't need no center blocks. Didn't need no uh, needles in the face. Uh, no staples. Just a uh, few chairs, tables. Yeah, that's going to happen. Uh, but Hey, that match still got over, so and it reintroduced the or it, it did make good use of uh Seth Rollins to be there and to uh cause Bronson Reed to use, uh lose the match. Now Bronson can maybe feud with uh Seth Seth Rollins. Should be pretty decent. Um Rollins does know how to bring the best out of, you know, whoever he wrestles, so this could help you know, again, bring Bronson Reed up to another level. So, uh, definitely interesting stuff. So, yeah, if you didn't make it this far, let me go ahead and re repeat the uh, jargon again. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this week's Raw. Also, be a champ and click on that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you'll know when all my content comes up brand new and for you to watch and do the same thing with like, share. Uh, I subscribe again. Just make sure you subscribe. So. But get your other friends to subscribe. That would be definitely help me out a lot. Until next time, you folks have a good one. Take it easy. Hey there. Thank you for checking this out. If you enjoyed it, share with friends. Drop a like button. Leave a comment. Also, be a champ and hit that subscribe button. You can also check me out on social media, Facebook, at Ronald Ray, on X or Twitter, 
is RPATRPTV46. Until next time. So long from the Peach State of Georgia.